This episode is powered by Poddex. Welcome to Tales from the Boombox, featuring conversations from entertainment's biggest stars. And now, here's your host, Sean Knight. Hello, and welcome to the Sean Knight Show podcast featuring Tales from the Boombox, powered by Poddex. I am your host, Sean Knight. And today, we are celebrating love because today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all the ladies, and I hope everyone is having a great Valentine's Day so far with this sweetie. And uh, this year... I did Valentine's Day solo. Yeah, look, look, I'm okay with that. I really am. I had a pretty dope weekend. I treated myself to dinner on Friday and enjoyed a virtual concert with Michael McDonald with some great people. And I mean, if you haven't checked out Michael McDonald, it has to be on your bucket list. Then yesterday, I had a chance to go to Walgreens. And while I was people watching, everybody getting their Valentine's Day gifts, I was checking out the displays and I was thinking to myself, you, you remember the old school Valentine's Day cards and candy that we used to pass out in school, um, especially um, th- those heart candies with the cute phrases on them. Um, I think it was the sweetheart candy or the conversation hearts. They had uh, printed messages on them like be mine, kiss me, call me, let's get busy. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Now, I don't know if I can speak for the ladies, but I know some of the fellas will agree with me on this. But we would definitely go through the candy to make sure that our designated Valentine got the right piece of candy. I mean, we would definitely be shooting our shot before shooting shots was available with those candies. But I started thinking, because even though those phrases are really cute, what if women were in charge of those messages? What if women really had a chance to say what they feel and put it on those heart candies? Outside of some sweet messages, I'm sure that there will be some that will say, not tonight. Are you listening? You snore. Pick up your socks. Oh, and another thing, and and my personal favorite, did you fart? Yeah, I'm sorry. I know your mouth was open. So I really couldn't believe that ladies could do something like that. So what I did was put the picture of those heart-shaped candies with those sayings on my Facebook page. And the goal of these ladies, some was in agreement. One was like, I would definitely order that. Another one was like, I can write a whole lot of other stuff on the blank ones. Petty, just petty. It's Valentine's Day. You shouldn't be petty like that. Well, I think that they are discontinuing the candy or the candy has gotten discontinued. So you'll never have an opportunity to do that. Sorry, not sorry. And you know, something else I was noticing, especially because it's Valentine's weekend, a lot of people are traveling. In spite of the pandemic, people are packing their bags and they're going on trips. And I'm not complaining about it at all a little bit because, you know, I do want to travel and get out of this weather, especially in Texas and even in Chicago, weather's kind of crazy. So you want to go out and have some fun and practice social distancing, wear your mask and all that good stuff if you're doing that. But did you know, according to Wallet Hub, they had six experts analyze all 50 states and rank them on a 100 point scale to determine which areas are better for singles. So if you're single, I got some good information for you, okay? Now, the states got scores for 27 relevant metrics that fall under three key dimensions. One, which is dating opportunities. Two, romance and fun. And three, dating economies. The top five best states for singles are, drum roll please, number five, New York. Number four, Wisconsin. Number three, Pennsylvania. Number two, Texas. And number one, Florida. Now, Florida is a no-brainer because it has an abundance of online and mobile dating while it was ranked number six and tied with New York and even Texas for having the most restaurants and movie theaters per capita. Now, I don't understand why they didn't throw Chicago in the mix because there's a lot of things to do in Chicago. And I'm not saying it because I'm from Chicago. Well, then again, I am saying it because I'm from Chicago and there's plenty of great things to do in Chicago. Now, for Valentine's Day, probably not because it's cold as hell in Chicago right now. But regardless of, of, of where you travel, have fun. And if you see someone who catches your eye while you're out and about because you know things happen, get the courage, shoot your shot because if I had an opportunity to shoot my shot in key situations, I would definitely do it in a heartbeat. And, and when I say that, uh, a lot of people are scared to shoot their shot. It's 2021. I say shoot your shot. I was involved in a dialogue with my homie Cam Coles on his Facebook page and his topic of discussion was, tell me about that time you didn't shoot your shot and if you regret it. The dialogue was good. I mean, one of the homies was talking about, he was talking to this young lady, 
They hit it off. He got the seven digits. I mean, everything. He never called her back. But six to seven months later, he saw the young lady auditioning on American Idol. That woman was Jennifer Hudson. Wow. Jennifer Hudson? You you had Jennifer Hudson's number and you and you didn't follow through? Not saying that, you know, Jennifer Hudson, she's cute. Definitely would have took the ah. Uh, oh my God. Another one said left eye from TLC. And even one of the other homies said Brandy. But I'm gonna tell you something right now. Out of all those choices, they were good. But I'm gonna tell you about that one time that I interviewed Mariah Carey. It was in 2009, I was on Power 92. Shout out to my Power 92 fam. It was for her 12th studio album, Memoirs of an Imperfect Angel. Um, it was released a few days before the twins' birthday and I was so excited to talk to her and I tried to play it cool, but when she spoke to me, man, I I'ma just let you hear it. Night for recorded interview, 15 minutes. Okay, hey Sean. I love you. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I just had to get that out. I love you back. Yep, I, I'm, I'm going to play it again because like T'Challa, I froze. Night for recorded interview, 15 minutes. Okay. Hey, Sean. I love you. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I just had to get that out. I love you back. Now, before y'all, you can stop laughing right now. You, you can really stop laughing because even though I didn't shoot my shot with Mariah Carey, it wouldn't have worked out anyway because... She recently got married to Nick Cannon, so she was still newlyweds. But uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, it's another opportunity that, that I wish that I would have had if I had the courage to do it. It would have been actress Lynn Whitfield. I had an opportunity to talk to Lynn Whitfield. I had a phone conversation with Lynn Whitfield. I was in Columbus, Georgia at the time. The station was K92.7 in Columbus, Georgia. Shout out to my K92.7 family and my DBI family. And she was our keynote speaker for our Women's Empowerment Luncheon. Talked to her on the phone. She was promoting the event. And I mean, I didn't, I didn't say I love her or anything like that, no. But it was just like in complete awe to talk to her. I mean, beauty, brains, I mean, you name it, class, the whole nine. When she hung up that phone, I could have walked outside and ascended to heaven. I mean, seriously, I got a picture with her too. I got a picture with Lynn Whitfield. We look good together. We actually do look good together. And I know that she has a birthday, I think it's tomorrow on the 15th. I think her 68th birthday. Happy birthday, Lynn Whitfield. If she's listening, she probably won't be listening to this, but I, I would definitely Shoot my shot with Lynn Whitfield. And I know what you're thinking. Sean, you're 45. Lynn Whitfield is about to be 68. So what? So what? May December relationship. Don't act like, don't, don't, don't even act like it. There, there are some May December relationships that is perfect right now. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I sure would. Lynn Whitfield? In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Yes. 68 year old Lynn Whitfield. Have you seen her? Thank you. That, that, that's all I got to say. That, that's all. But but that's enough of my Valentine's Day foolery. Coming up, <laughs> I got a classic interview. 18 years ago, I had a chance to talk to Buster Rhymes on Valentine's Day for his sixth studio album, It Ain't Safe No More. After we take a quick pause, we're going to acknowledge our sponsors. Here's Travis from Poddex. Take it away, Travis. This episode is powered by Poddex. Pod decks are unique interview questions and episode starting prompts in the palm of your hand. So whether you're a new podcaster or an existing broadcaster looking to take your interviews and podcast episodes to the next level, you're going to want to check out pod decks. Visit poddex.com to get your pod decks today. Thanks, Travis. I appreciate it. And if you use the code Sean Knight Show at checkout, you will get 10% off your order at Poddex. That's 10% off your order by using the code Sean Knight Show. S H A W N K N I G H T S H O W at checkout at poddex.com. Go ahead and grab you some right now. All right. Welcome back to the Sean Knight Show podcast featuring Tales from the Boombox. It was 18 years ago today that I had an opportunity to sit down with hip hop legend Buster Rhymes to talk about his sixth studio album, It Ain't Safe No More. Uh, Split Star was in the building too. We had a great conversation and 
It was really crazy around that time. We were still recovering from the after effects of 9-11 and it was a real unrest while we were at war in Afghanistan. So sort of like today where we're kind of getting used to this new normal with the COVID and, and all this other crazy stuff. You know, it, it was just as crazy back in 2003. So the album It Ain't Safe No More was released in November of 2002. Um, it had producers, Swiss Beats, Jay Dilla, The Neptunes, even the Chicago homie Wildstyle from Kusha Conflict. He produced a track called Hey Ladies. Um, in 2003, the album ranked 29 on Billboard's U.S. Top R&B Hip Hop Albums, and it also ranked 112 on the U.S. Billboard 200. So the two bangers on the album was Make It Clap featuring Spliff Star, the remix with Sean Paul, and of course, the single I Know What You Want with Mariah Carey. And without further ado, let's go back 18 years ago, Valentine's Day. I was guest starring for the Chocolate Jacks, Trey and Ike. Shout out to my homeboys. Talking to Buster Rhymes, it ain't safe no more. Right here on Tales from the Boombox, it's the Sean Night Show Podcast. Number one in the streets, Power 92, today's yeah, yeah, hottest music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. Buster Rhymes. Scratch it tall. Yeah, yeah. Flip mode squad. DJ holding it down from ceiling to floor. Blasting off. What's Spliff at? Hey, yo, Spliff. This how we do it, man. It's Flip, it's flip Mode Radio right yeah. now. We in this building right now. We live and direct. We officially planting our feet in the grains in the soils of the geographic landscape of the shot. So y'all need to holler at your boy right now. Power 92, we up here. We getting ready to make people want to push their face through their windshield in the street. Cause a ruckus up in the city. Let's get it popping. See, man, that, that, that was deep, man. That was deep. See, see here? See here? We, we would say, we say, you put some cheese on that, dog. You put some cheese on that. All right. Man, the album, it ain't safe no more. Yeah, in stores right now. Whoever ain't go cop that. It's a problem. Yeah, that's a big problem, and you need to go make up for that and go cop that. The new Buster Rhymes solo LP in stores right now. It ain't safe no more. Whole lot of goodies popping off with that. Yes, it is, man. Let, let's talk about it ain't safe no more. How did you come up with the title? Because it ain't safe no more for real. It ain't been safe since Bush came to president. It's even more unsafe right now. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I wish he could hurry up and, and bounce and we get get a little Democratic dude back up in the building so we, we can start, um, you know, we can get real, real flossy with it again, you know? Right, right. At the end of the day, though, we stash for them rainy days just in case Daryl is like him getting off. <laughs> 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 but you know, it ain't safe no more. It's just, you know, pretty much the thing that I just felt was best accepted, you know, for my own personal liking as the title for the album and its representation for the coming day. And I usually do that just, you know, with the underlying concepts of all of my albums from the coming to when disaster strikes, extinction level event, anarchy, genesis. Right, so you was like in a prosthetic mode when you do your albums, right? Nah, I was just under some good dro. <laughs> Current single right now, I know what you want. Word up. Big up to Mariah Carey. One of the most incredible soul, soul, soul tree singers in the world. And big up to the whole Flip Mode squad for coming through and being the foundation support system on that record with me, man. Split Star Boy, he's been showing his ass lately from yes. making it clap to the Make It Clap remix to he rushing the booth with the verse written first for the Mariah joint. Uh, like, look, I ain't waiting to rhyme with y'all. I think keep writing y'all rhyme. Yeah. I'm going to run up yeah. in the booth and spit first. <laughs> so, you know, Split definitely doing it. Big up to Split. Big up to Digger. Big up to Sham. Rampage. Big up to Sham. Speaking of Rod Digger, she finishing a new solo album scheduled for a June, July release. Yeah, the first female flip mode in the flip mode squad. Speaking of the ladies, happy Valentine's Day again to all of y'all. We're going to have a real hot and sweaty up in a jump off tonight. Y'all know what the deal is. Y'all make sure y'all come out and make it clap for your boy. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the ladies are loving you, man, on this. I know what you want, right? I love ladies a lot, man. The ladies love you, man. I love ladies, you know. You know what? 
Because, you know, this is Trey and Akeisha, the chocolate jocks, you know, right now. You know, they, they out there doing their thing. I don't know where they at right now. Yeah, but, no, you they, know. they securing they front line of the ladies for this function tonight. You know, they going out there to get it popping in advance. It's going to be crowded. The function is sold out. There's going to be a lot of dudes in there vulturing the women. So I guess the chocolate jocks went out there to go secure their slot. No, man. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> man, uh, you know, when I do, when I, when I be doing my thing late night, man, you know, you, you're perfect, man. Coming in late at night. Yeah, man. Ladies love it, man. Yeah, man. They love it. They love it. Yeah, Had an incense burning and all that stuff, man. <laughs> yeah. That's Dude. when the real official creep be popping off, you know, and things that transpire where you usually don't want people to know about that be up in the daytime. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So keep the nighttime creep popping off. So, you know, 12 o'clock on a Valentine's Day and it's snowing outside. It's like that romantic weather, that that whole sexy mood swing. So we're going we gonna to roller coaster ride the mood swing because, of course, we got to bring it for the street corner representatives. The dudes, the, you know, the thug, we got to rep for the street. You know, the dudes with the hoodies and all of that who are going to be in there, you know, repping it on a real hardcore level. And then we're going to roller coaster the ride on the way down to the nice, smooth, and sexy, you know, emotion and mood swing for the ladies. And we're going to make sure we coincide all of that and bring it back to a ruckus for the grand finale at the end of the concert and really blast off so that we can put the official flip mode sign and seal stamp of approval on the night. Hey man, look. You know what I mean? I'm just letting you know I'm putting you on repeat tonight when I know what you want. How about <laughs> no that? No doubt. Let's get it popping. <laughs> you on repeat tonight, dog. Yeah. Hey, um, also, man, you're, you're doing movies now? You just did NARC, right? Yeah, NARC is in the movie theaters right now. Big up to Ray Liotta, you know, from Goodfellas, and Jason Patrick from Sleepers. Richard Chauvelo, he actually plays my partner in the street in the movies, a new Canadian actor. I need to definitely go peep that, man. And, you know, look forward to your boy Buster Rhymes getting it popping a little more in that big screen universe. Spliff, where you at, boy? Come on, man. Get on that mic. Get on the mic, man. What are you at? Spliff, what's the problem? Get you, Spliff, stop. Yes, sir. What's going on? What's going on, man, with you? Chilling in Chi-Town, baby. Yeah, we really chilling in Chi-Town with this chilly-ass level. <laughs> <laughs> Look, ladies, ladies, if you, if you can see these two cats right here, and fellas too, man, these cats are just like laid back, chilling right now. They're taking we gonna it burst it, we're gonna burst it out tonight, though. Yeah. That's, that's when the energy gonna really show. Yeah, man, these, these cats, man, but I, I just like seeing you guys do your thing, man. You're so animated when you do your stuff, man. I mean, we just like to do what we love and what we fans of, first and foremost, and that's repping the hip hop to the fullest. And you know, when people come out, if they fans like we fans of the music, they expect it to be represented the same way we want to see it get right, represented. Right. So we got to rep it right, you know what I mean? So so what is it busting around C player, man, when, when, when it's not you, man? Because I know you probably bump your stuff all day. Split Star, new solo project. He got about three quarters of the album done. Rod Digger, she pretty much got 95% of the album done. Um, the new 50 Cent, big up the Violator. You know what I mean? My old Violator team, Missy Mob Deep, Noriega Capone, CNN, uh... Uh, 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 50 Cent, uh, who else? There's a bunch of us on Violator, so big up the whole Violator team. Um, uh, word, big up seven, crazy producer. Um, 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 Clips, yeah, Clips just got down with Violator too, so big up to the Clips. Um, um, and who else, who else in the CD player? Oh, Jaheem is definitely in the CD Dude, player that, right that now. that CD is like really Jaheem, Jaheem. Spliff put me on the Jaheem though. Because see, the chicks is Spliff Arena all the way. Full fledged. Like, Spliff be boxing everybody out when they come to that arena. <laughs> he box you out on defense crazy. Like, you know, that's the Spliff got that whole situation on the lock and key. So he put me on to the Jaheem movement. And I got to salute Ja. Jaheim movement is, 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 is banging. This album is crazy. Got him in the box. And um, for the most part, that's that's about it right now. So for sure, um, is there anybody that you would like to work with, man? Like do a collabo with? Um, uh, me and Snoop ain't really boogie yet. You know what I mean? I'm looking forward to boogieing with Snoop on the beat. You know what I mean? Um, I'm looking forward to banging an Eminem joint, putting an Eminem joint together and banging it out, getting it out for the street. You know, Fifty Cent. Um, uh. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Right about that. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Hey man, anything you want to say to the to the fans, man? Yeah, go cop the album, bust the rhymes. It ain't safe no more in stores right now. Stay tuned for Spliff Star new solo album. Stay tuned yeah, for yeah, yeah. Let me big up Kusha Conflict. Oh, what love, Kusha boy. Conflict? No, it is. Wild oh, Style and the whole fan. What up? <laughs> yeah, big up the Wild Style because he also produces Jump Off okay. on a, on a, it ain't safe no more album called Hey Ladies. So big up the Wild Style, a whole Kusha Conflict. Um. Um, yeah, you know, once again, stay tuned for the Split Star solo album. Stay tuned for the new Rod Digger solo album. Um, the new Flip Mode Squad album. It's called The Rulership Movement. Scheduled tentative release around September 2003. Yeah, man, and we, you know, we just gonna keep steamrolling over the street, man, with the fire and keep it consistent. Stay tuned for more Buster Rhymes popping off in the big screen universe. We gonna keep that film money coming through. Right. Yeah, and make sure y'all come Buster through tonight. Fire. Yeah, come through. Come smoke something with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, we 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 secured that. We done blanketed that already. But you know we can't say it enough. Word up, word up, word up. <laughs> word up, man. I mean that's pretty much it. Just people's come through rep for flip mode. We coming through. We repping for y'all. We gonna keep it official. We gonna keep it sexy. We gonna keep it street, and we gonna have a good time tonight. Hey. Hey. For Alan, he's gonna bring you straight to me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, it's called It Ain't Safe No More. Yeah. Buster Rhymes, Cronium Tonight, 817 yeah. West Lake. Yeah. If y'all yeah. don't got y'all tickets now, nah. let's do it. Too bad. Yeah, you might be able to get it free. You bring a copy of the album cover to the door. So let me see how many of y'all go out there and rap. And if you ain't got the album, go pick it up real quick. Try your luck at the front door. No bootleg. We can tell if it's bootleg in the artwork of the album cover. <laughs> All right, so let's get it popping. Come to the club, flash your album cover. You might get in the club free. Unfortunately, that's the only uh, uh, potential option that you sliding in that warm building. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, tickets, yeah, tickets. Nothing is better calling Big Heavy Coke than you be standing up. Dude, <laughs> you know the show is sold out, right? Yeah, that's why I'm saying the only potential possibility of getting in is if they had an album cover swinging in at the front door. You know what I mean? So whoever ain't got it, last minute right now, hurry up, throw your little quilt. Throwing off the bed if you ain't dressed and running the store real quick. Go buy a new Buster Rhymes album, it ain't safe no more. Yeah, come to the door, well. come to the door, pull out the album cover, artwork, and swing it at the front door. Tell them let's get it pop and let you inside. Buster Rhymes said so. What? Tonight at the Cronium. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Buster Rhymes. Flip Mo Squid Art. Station number one in the streets, Power 92. Hey man, I want to get in a truck with the broken concrete in the back, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That joint that stay illegally parked in your mother front lawn flower bed. <laughs> Trampling on the flowers. The tulips ruining a Valentine's Day for somebody. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> we gonna keep a street. What? Much respect, dog. That's enough love, dog. One of the best who ever did it, Busta Rhymes. It ain't safe no more. That was back in 2003 in the Power 92 studio, Valentine's Day. Had a great time with him and Split Star. And since then, Busta Rhymes has dropped four albums, including his latest one, Extinction Level Event 2, The Wrath of God, which was last year. And he has been featured on Five Dog Posthumous album, Nutshell Part 2, with Red Man. You can check that out. It's available as well. That's going to do it for the Shaw Night Show podcast featuring Tales from the Boombox. Make sure you like, rate, subscribe, check your boy out, and follow me on all social media at Shaw Night Show, S-H-A-W-N-K-N-I-G-H-T-S-H-O-W. And I hit you with a follow back. Until next time, we out of here. Happy Valentine's Day. Peace.